How's she going right there, eh? It's Denis here from Denis Logie Outdoors. Uh, just got back from Princess Auto. Um, picked up actually a couple of these uh, little wood uh, burning stoves, camp stoves. Um, thought I'd try it out. Last fall I tried to pick something like this up, so uh, up there at my uh, uh, cabin site, um, the little temporary thing that I kind of used to sleep in and to deer hunt out of, and uh, we couldn't find any anywhere. Um, so I seen these, they were on sale today, I think they're like 58 bucks a piece. Um, so uh, just going to unbox one there now. I'm going to light it up, uh, burn the stuff off. I just want to take a look at it, see how well it works. Um, there was one similar to this one. Um, it was actually a little more expensive and I bought in that one in the past and uh, I ran that and I didn't really like it. it uh, once you'd open the door, the smoke would uh, kind of backdraft out and uh, it didn't really work out very good. So I thought I'd try one of these. Um, if it doesn't work out great, well, I'll just return it. Um, what I'm thinking is to have these up there at a couple little kind of portable spots that I have set up. These little sheds and hunting spots. And if it works out good, um, then, uh, you know, hopefully it'll work out good for that. Or, you know, a little shed or anything like that. If a little workshop type of thing. Anyhow, I'll uh, just pause you for now. I'll... Uh, get it all ripped out of there and uh, see what it looks like stand by okay so I got all the parts out they're all wrapped up um, yeah so there's a bunch of screws here they're actually uh, Allen screws so it's gonna go get an Allen wrench um, four legs uh, one two three four pieces of regular pipe and then there's the cap pipe with a spark arrestor on the top and then there's this kind of this flange piece um the pipe diameter seems like a not too bad a, of a size the last one i was saying uh that i had in the past um was kind of the, the rounded one and it had uh the stove pipe was actually a little bit smaller it was almost like uh it was actually like muffler diameter pipe and maybe that was the issue that it was, uh, you know, backdrafting or smoking in the the little shack. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll fire this up, get it set up, and see how it works. Go through the first burn. I'm actually surprised on the thickness of that. Um, after that last one didn't work out very well, I bought another one from Princess Auto that was kind of like a, like a small barrel style and it was really thin um, but the only good thing is that, that it had a four inch flue pipe that I could put on it and uh, it worked for quite a while like I probably had it five six years and then it eventually just uh, deteriorated in the bottom fell out of it and like I said last fall I was looking for one I couldn't find one anywhere it, it was crazy with the pandemic and the shortages and all that kind of stuff so that's what I thought when I seen this one for 58 bucks. I thought, man, you know, you can't, you couldn't build, build that for, for that price. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm going to put it together first and try it. And that'll be the telltale right there. All right, stand by. Okay. So I got that all bolted together. The four legs on the bottom took, I don't know, a couple minutes, I guess. So there's like two machine screws on each leg on the bottom. And then up here, there's a little flange that you slide in from the inside and put four machine screws with Allen head nuts on them. And uh, yeah, so it's not too bad. Like I said, it's a little bit thicker than I thought it was going to be, like the walls of the firebox. Don't look too bad. And um, uh, what I was thinking while I was putting it together, it would probably make a real nice... Um, stove for like a hot tent if you're going tenting in the winter time because uh, you can take the legs apart just make sure you have a, an allen wrench with you and uh, the pipes all come apart and that's six foot long and like I said there's a spark arrestor at the top 
and the whole thing comes apart and uh, it just goes right inside the stove. The only thing I can see that there may be a little bit of an issue is the door is a little tight to be able to close. Um, but I thought I'd run it a few times and then if I have to I'll just take a grinder or file or open that gap up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to try it out here, see how it works. Let's get some birch bark in there, some old, some old crappy cardboard and a little bit of kindling. Like I said, the last one that I picked up one time um, had a little bit of issue with the smoke coming back into the little deer stand that I was using, the little shack. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to do the same. A little bit of smoke coming back. But let's see if it'll start drawing here soon. Yeah, there's a little bit of smoke coming out of the top. Yeah, it's really starting to come up. The nice thing about using that birch park, it lights up pretty good, but you get a little bit of uh, black smoke out of it. Yeah, so far it's not working too bad. I'll uh, let it run like this for a bit and uh, keep an eye on it. And uh, maybe I'll turn you back on here in a bit. Um, so also what comes with it, there's, I think they call this a, like a wood poker, I guess. And then this thing over here, they call this, call that a shovel. Um, and that all fits inside the stove too, when you're, uh, got it all dismantled and stuff. So that's kind of convenient. Anyhow, I'll uh, let this run here for a bit and uh, get a good bed of coals and then I'll uh, turn it back on here in a bit. Stand by. Okay, so I'm back after a couple minutes. It's firing up pretty good there now. You can see the smoke starting to come off it, the paint's starting to burn off it. I like to say that's what you want to do the first time you use it. Um, you know, instead of having it in a closed space. Yeah, not too bad. Um, I have noticed a little bit until it was going really well. You would, the smoke would kind of burn, come out the door. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just stuck this poker on there to hold the door closed. Yeah, it seems to be drawing pretty good there now. You can hear it, hear it roaring out the top of the pipe. Yeah, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that for uh, for the price under 60 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like I was saying right in here, that little straight edge. I'm going to take my grind grinder and just going to grind that little corner off, so that uh, when you bring that latch down, it'll catch that and then you can lock it right in. Yeah, so for what I want to use it for, I thought that'd be great. Like I said, I got a couple of deer stands. They're just glorified sheds, I guess, out in the wood lot, out in the woods. And uh, yeah, that was my plan, is to have a couple of these set up. And uh, if you use one a season, or I'm gonna, I think I'm going to pick up another one, so I'll have three of them. And uh, yeah, there's nothing better than when you're sitting in the tree stand or the deer stand and it's cold and you can put a can of beans or a pot of something or a pot of coffee on there get it warmed up keep yourself warm yeah I think that's gonna work out perfect and like I was just gonna say there yeah if you wanted to move them around they're portable tear everything apart just keep an old an Allen wrench I think it's like quarter inch and uh, 
Yeah, take it apart. Bring it where you want. Yeah, so if you could, hit the smash button. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. That's the end there, eh?